Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a very hot and sweaty United Kingdom. It is so warm here at the moment, we're in the middle of having a gigantic heat wave and I am loving it. So many people have been complaining that it is just too hot but I'm like yeah bring it on, bring on the heat. I love the warm weather so so much but um, I can understand why people are complaining because it is very very warm and we are just not equipped for it in the UK so I can see why and plus when you have to go to work and stuff like that it's you know it is a little bit more challenging in the heat but we are I, today I think it's going to be about 28 29 degrees but by um, Monday Tuesday it's 35 plus I think it could be getting as high as kind of 37 38 which is unheard heard of in the UK so I am very much looking forward to it. I actually heard on the radio um, a couple of days ago that they're preparing the gritters for in case the roads start to melt and I was like what? Like so yeah we are that ill-equipped for the heat in the UK that um, yeah they're having to prepare gritters in case the roads melt. Absolutely bananas but um Never mind. Oh, speaking of bananas, well, not bananas, cucumbers, my cucumber plant has gone bananas. Honestly, it's grown, I, I reckon, since Sunday. So Sunday, in the last vlog, I made the little tripod at stake with you, and I would say it was about a foot below the top of that tripod, when it's now in line with it in less than a week honestly it is loving i think these really warm kind of humid conditions and i've obviously been keeping it well watered so i think it is just loving its life right now and it's like jack and the beanstalk honestly it's grown so much i almost feel like i could sit there and watch it and see it growing because it's growing so quickly i will show you it later i have actually got a big um obelisk I think it's called coming um to help to give it a little bit more support because it is getting so tall and I think I've got well well into I, I reckon about 15 cucumbers are growing on there it's just gone absolutely crazy but I'm loving loving watching it grow I never knew that I would have a love for this kind of thing but I am really really enjoying it so today anyway I'm going to work in a sec and then I'm going to get my hair done after that. So literally after I finish my class I'm going straight to the hairdressers. My sister-in-law does my hair and she's going to give my colour a lovely refresh. They always style it up and curl it up so beautifully afterwards as well. So I'm looking forward to that and it always lasts for days. When I curl my hair it drops to kind of this. Um, within, I might get two days out of it, but it's then, it's then dropped to this. So I, I mean, I don't mind it like this, so I tend to just keep it, because I can't bother to curl it back up again. But when I go to the hairdressers and they curl it up, it lasts for like a week in those beautiful curls. So I'm looking forward to having lovely, glamorous hair over the weekend, it will be nice. I have got a new dress to unbox with you a little bit later as well. It is a heat wave appropriate dress. Going through my wardrobe last weekend and trying to find a dress to wear when we went out for lunch was really hard because I was like, I've got lots of beautiful, beautiful dresses, but a lot of them have got kind of three quarter length sleeves or long sleeves. Again, it being in the UK, even in our summers, we tend to have sleeves because it's not that hot, whereas, now it is that hot and I really need to find some more kind of strappy appropriate dresses so I have ordered one from a new brand um well a new brand to me it is called where is it I think it's called pink city yeah pink city prints and it's come in this I've, I've not taken it out of the bag yet but it comes in this gorgeous little tote bag and then the dress is inside so gorgeous looking forward to unboxing that properly and trying that on with you guys a little bit later as well I'm going to do a little bit in the garden to um I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow but whatever we get up to I'll vlog that as well and then on Sunday we're going to the Riverside Cafe in I think it's in Amberley and it's a really beautiful part of kind of the Sussex area and it's yeah lovely little cafe and we've actually booked breakfast there so we've got that booked for Sunday and then they've got some really lovely walks around the area as well so I think we'll probably do that so really lovely weekend ahead 
but let's go get to work and then let's get started on the day and I will probably catch up with you guys when I'm at the hairdressers. I won't vlog an awful lot because I mean there's not much to see but I might just do a quick kind of snap picture or um, a little video clip of me at the hairdressers and then I will speak to you properly again when I'm back home. <laughs> Right then, it is quite a few hours later. My hair is freshly coloured and done. Look at the way they curl it. I just cannot do this magic myself. I'm going to text actually my sister-in-law who did my hair and ask her the exact tool that she used, the curling tong and the size of it, and buy the exact one in the hope that I can recreate it. But I have tried this before and done this before and I still can't recreate it, but never mind, never mind. So let's get into my box, shall we, and have a little look at my dress. So opening it up and look at the pattern inside the box. How adorable is that? Really, really gorgeous. And then I've got my receipt here. So as I said earlier, it is from Pink City Prints is the brand. Let me pop the box down. And then it comes in this very, very sweet little tote bag. How gorgeous is that? I'm definitely gonna use this, you know. It's very handy for if you pop to the farm shop or something like that to um, take something like this to pop some bits and bobs in. Love that. So, let's have a look at the dress. Oh, wow. Okay, that print is gorgeous. Right, I better show you. So, oh, look, it's a gorgeous gorgeous strappy dress adjustable straps as well which is key I hate it when strappy dresses don't have adjustable straps I find that so frustrating so I think it can't be that difficult to pop an adjustable strap in and it's so much easier as a consumer so very pleased that it's got that it feels as though it's a lovely cotton fabric let me just see if I can find a label if not I will pop it up on screen but I'm pretty sure it is cotton. No, I can't find one for the minute, but if it's not cotton, I will pop it up on screen. And this really lovely print. So it's all block printed. And um, I think it's either done in London or maybe it's, uh, it's done and shipped over, but it's a, it's a London brand anyway. And it's just beautiful, beautiful fabric there. So summery, so girly and so beautiful. So really lovely covered buttons I'm spotting there as well, which is making me all kinds of happy. And coming down into a gorgeous midi length. If this fits and if this looks as good as I'm hoping it's going to look, I am wearing this this weekend over the heat wave. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just seeing if my Dior bag will go with it because it has got little aspects of pink in it. So I think that could go nicely. If not, my trusty wicker pearl bag, which is, I believe, yeah, yeah. That always looks great with a lovely summer dress. So those together, castania wedges, and there is a gorgeous look. Okay, let's get it steamed quickly and try it on, shall we? Okay guys, so this is the dress on and it's so beautiful. I've just actually paired it with a raffia belt that is actually off one of my other um, Zimmerman dresses actually. This belt is so handy. Um, if I can find something similar on Amazon, which I'm sure I can, I will leave it linked down below um, because it's such a handy belt in the summertime just to pop with all sorts of different dresses and it just breaks up, if it's one print, just breaks up the print a little bit, which I think just nips you in at the waist and gives you a little bit more of a figure, so it can be really nice for that. The dress has got pockets, which makes me super duper happy. It is, if I move my hair out, ever so slightly too big. It does need a little bit of adjusting just around the bust there, but I think actually I would be willing to pay to have this taken in. I don't think it would take an awful lot, and hopefully my best friend will do it for me as well. So I think it would be quite an easy one. I mean, there's a seam there, so I think it would be quite easy to take it in there just a little bit. And I absolutely love it. I really, really do. I really hope that I get to wear it over this weekend. Let's just grab my bag. So I'm thinking it looks rather sweet with my Lady Dior and it just makes it look a little bit more elegant. Not that it's not elegant, but just adds that extra elegance in when you have a bag like this. I did try it with my pearl bag 
as well, which does look great, it really does, but I just, I just like it with my Dior. I prefer it with my Dior, I think it's just adding, as I said, that a little bit of extra elegance into the outfit. I've also paired it with my Castania wedges there as well, adding a little bit of height, and again, just that bit of summer elegance into it. Absolutely love this dress. It's definitely a keeper, and I'm very much hoping that I'll be able to wear it at some point over the weekend. By the way, guys, look at those waves in my hair. Unbelievable, honestly. I just need to learn how to do this myself. Love it. Anyway, very pleased with that. So I'm gonna get changed back out of this, although this would be appropriate to wear in the heat today, but I don't wanna get it ruined because I am gonna do a little bit of gardening. When I say gardening, I'm gonna to put together the obelisk that has arrived from Amazon and just maybe do a little bit of deadheading. So a little bit of pottering, not gonna get muddy particularly, so I won't um, necessarily wear kind of proper gardening clothes, but. Uh, I don't want to get this dirty at all because I want to wear it lots this weekend. Very happy, definitely a keeper. Okay, oh, Betty's bum. I don't want to see that. They want to see your face. They don't want to see your bum. Right, Amazon at delivery. I'm hoping that I am actually going to be able to manage to put this together myself, but find out. Oh, my grenade bars are in there as well. I forgot I ordered some grenade bars. Oh, fabulous. Nicely done in one box, Amazon. They often come in separate boxes, so um, that's good. I got some, um, uh, what ones are they? Uh, white chocolate salted peanut. I'm going to put these in the house because they're probably already melting because the Amazon delivery guy just left it in the garden, which is fine, um, but they're probably melting already. So give me a sec, I'll be back. Right, okay, so, oh, it's come in a very small box, which is worrying because I think it means I'm going to have a lot to put together. It's very small, actually. Oh, I really hope that I haven't ordered one that's too small. Well, let's have a look inside, shall we? <laughs> Hopefully, we will be okay. I, honestly, I do this all the time on Amazon. I order things and they are just either far too small or far too big for what I want. And I just need to learn to look at the measurements and actually measure up rather than just going, yeah, that will do. But I'm hoping that this will be okay. Okay, wow, it is in lots of bits. However, we have instructions. So hopefully we will be able to do this. Oh goodness, oh look, they're all lettered. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all different bits, okay. Right, come on. You can do this, girl. You can do this. What are these? Well, these are what they go in the ground. gonna lie it's not the best quality thing that I have ever bought however it was 20 pounds so I expect suspect I can't really expect that good a quality but I am hoping that it is going to do the job so if you see this is the stakes that I put in in the tripod in the last vlog and they have grown in what the space of six days since I did it, no, five days since I did it, I did it Sunday night, they have grown hugely, or it has grown hugely. I mean, look at the size of it now. It is grown so tall. As I said, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. I can't quite believe how quickly it's growing, but it is just loving the conditions, I think. It's loving the warm weather and the, well, the fact that I'm giving it plenty of water as well. So it is loving life. But yeah, there's about 18 cucumbers that I can count and probably more that are going to be growing on that. So it is a monster. Loving it though, really enjoying watching it grow. I'm hoping you can see, but this is a mini cucumber here. We've got ones further down there that have got the little flowers on as well. There are loads of them, and even at the top here, these fresh ones here, they're going to be cucumbers 
yeah I counted a moment ago and 18 is the total that I can see I reckon there's more than that motorbike going past I reckon there's more than that it's yeah I can't believe how monstrous it is and how much it's grown honestly this is bringing me so much joy you would not believe Good afternoon everyone. It is now the next day. It is Saturday. I've just got home from work. It's about 1pm-ish. Um, I popped to the garden centre on my way home from work because apparently that is all I do nowadays. It's how I spend my time in garden centres. But I wanted to get some new sunflowers because basically my sunflowers that I potted up with you maybe five, six weeks ago-ish have been well and truly annihilated by slugs and I mean like a complete sunflower massacre the leaves are like just basically you can just see the skeleton of the leaf every bit of kind of green has been eaten the sunflowers themselves are all sort of shriveled up and been eaten as well so they're gone unfortunately I took a picture of them and I took it to the garden centre and asked a lady there because I was like if if there's a hope of them coming back then I obviously won't replace them but she looked at it and she was like oh no they are well and truly gone and probably not even going to come back next year either so unfortunately I think I'm just going to have to start again so I bought some new sunflowers to pot up hopefully these ones will be better I did actually speak to the lady again the same lady in the garden centre about some sort of slug repellent because one of you guys actually mentioned something called oh I'm gonna butcher this diasanthe something earth I'll pop it up on screen DE I think is the initials of it um, and so I asked her about that but they didn't have any of that in the garden center but she said gravel like little tiny bits of gravel will do the same thing because this DE is basically microscopic bits of fo fossil I believe and so it's completely harmless to humans to animals but the slugs obviously don't like going over the top of it so they will avoid it um, but the lady in the garden center seems to think that gravel will do the same thing and I have got some small gravel from when I potted up um, my plants my indoor plants so I have got that so I'm going to give that a go and see if that works hopefully it will if not then I will order this DE stuff online but I'm hopeful that the gravel will do the trick so yeah today is a glorious day it's about 28 degrees out there right now Woo loving it so I think we're gonna have a nice relaxed chill around the garden potter around a little bit I do want to do a little bit of deadheading I did do some last night but I want to do a little bit more today obviously I want to pot, pot up my new sunflowers which I might do as it gets a little bit cooler maybe we'll see how we go really and yeah we've got a lovely dinner planned we can do some bits on the barbecue so that will be really nice but it's going to be a really nice chilled afternoon just spending it in the garden and i can't wait i'm very excited so let's um go downstairs i'll show you the new sunflowers i actually think i was going to show you the old ones but i think jamie's already disposed of so i'll show you the new ones and then we'll just get cracking on our nice relaxed chill day so these are the new sunflowers as you can see there are loads of loads of flowers on them so i think they're going to look really really beautiful um just amongst my other pots there they're going to look absolutely glorious i believe they are called where is it sunfinity um so i love them an awful lot and I think they're going to look very nice and just uh, sunflowers are my all-time favorite flower they are literally happiness in a flower so i'm looking forward to potting them up hopefully them surviving the slugathon and um looking beautiful i love looking at this little corner of the garden so much those beautiful beautiful cushions and then a little potted area there absolutely loving it right i'm going to grab my trough and um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of deadheading. I have done these three hanging baskets yesterday, but I didn't get around to doing the other two on the other side of the fence. So I'm gonna go and do that. And then I will get potting up these plants as well. Okay, I've just come in quickly because I'm going to get changed into something a little bit more appropriate and I'm going to pot up the sunflower. But I've just had a delivery from Very and I just thought I would quickly show you what I picked up. 
So I ordered this at 10 past 7 last night and it is here this morning. I'm very impressed with that delivery, I have to say very. I need some scissors. Yeah, that is some super quick delivery. That is very, very impressive. And I'd like to show you what I picked up. So basically, when Kaylee, my sister-in-law, curled all my hair up beautifully yesterday, I was so impressed with it that I asked her the exact tongs and the exact size of tongs that they used at the salon because I want to add them to my tong collection. Apparently, I haven't got enough. And they are the GHD one. So it's GHD, the curved tong with the classic curl. It's 26 millimeters, I believe. So, and that is what they look like. So it's quite a small barrel. And I noticed that she took really, really small sections, like almost kind of sections this sort of size. And um, and it's just it's just because I've literally brushed it this morning and that's it. And it's just really got those beautiful beachy waves. And this will last for ages. So, and that's, that's what I want. I almost just want to curl it all up once and then not have to bother with it. Um, I know that there's a big thing at the moment that a lot of people aren't using heat on their hair. That is absolutely fine, but to be completely honest, this is not my hair, so I don't really mind using heat on it. It is extensions, they've only got sort of like they only last about a year. Um, so it, I don't, you know, I don't mind applying heat to them. And I mainly apply heat to the extensions and not really to my actual hair. Um, and if I do kind of have to refresh during the week, then I only do curl up the extensions and not my natural hair. So yeah, I don't mind doing it quite so much. So yeah, I've got these GHDs, hoping that they're gonna look glorious. And then I'm such a sucker for an add-on at the till. They were like, oh, why not try this? And I was like, okay. If it says what it does on the tin, absolutely, honestly, they see me coming, such a sucker. So it is the GHD Curly Ever After. So it's curl holding hairspray. So we will see. Oh, I quite like the yellow. Let's just give it a sniff. sniff. Oh. oh, it smells nice. Okay, doesn't smell like typical hairspray. That smells nice. Yeah, okay, we'll give that a go and see if that helps as well. So those are the two buds that I like, picked up from Mary. So yeah, really very impressed with their delivery. Super excited. So I will try these out with you at some point. I don't think I'm gonna need to try it tomorrow because I think that I still have the way from when Kaylee did it. So maybe I'll try it with you next weekend. But um, very happy with that. So gonna get changed into something a little bit more gardening appropriate, perhaps a darker colour, and um, pot up my sunflowers. I'll then probably put this dress back on because I'm just loving floating around the house in my pretty white dress, so I will probably pop this back on afterwards, but I really don't want to get it muddy. I said to Jamie I could do with getting like a little pinny um, for the garden so that I can wear my pretty dresses and then have a pinny on top so I won't get them muddy. So I might have to keep an eye out for one of those. Maybe I'll have a little look on the old Amazon in a little bit and see if I can make an order of one. But let's get going and get gardening okay i've just popped a jumpsuit on i can take the straps down and then i won't get any strap marks that is the plan so bucket sunflower gravel compost i think we are ready to get going so Clean i'm just gonna cars. yeah jamie's cleaning the cars for us just going to get some compost into my bucket. Can you help me lift it up, Jay? Sorry, can you just help me put a little, like fill it up a little bit? Thank you. head poking through the flowers. First one, complete. Right, oh, let's put this in place. Oh my God, it's heavy. Just realized after that I pop, forgot to pop the gravel in that one, but I'll do it in a minute. I'll we'll pot up this one first, and then we'll do that. Actually, that doesn't need too much in the bottom of it. Spoonful, is about to say, spade falls in. 
Okay, let's hope this works. Sunflowers are literally my most favorite flower. To me, they are just happiness in a flower. They're just truly beautiful. So this is how I've arranged the pots. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep them like that, but I'm gonna have a fiddle around over the next few days. I feel like I've swapped them now about a thousand times in the last five minutes. So I'm just gonna leave them there for the moment and then have a think and have a see how I feel over the next few days or so. But just having a step back and how adorable does that little corner of the garden look? Honestly, I am so pleased with it and I'm just so pleased, excuse the mess there, with the garden in general. I really feel as though it's coming into its, into its own this year and um, yeah, love my little veg patch there and everything. Very, very happy. Okay, gardening done for the time being. I'm back in my lovely white dress. I did also weed the hydrangea bed as well, but I didn't record that because I was like, I think there's been enough gardening time lapses in this video. So I didn't record that, but we are gonna have a nice iced oat milk latte now. And I just thought I would show you how I do it because I have got this down to a T, okay? My iced lattes are spectacular. So we have a Nespresso machine and the capsule that I'm going to put in is the Voltesso. It's a really perfect latte capsule because it's not too, too strong. If you like stronger lattes, then of course you can go for a stronger capsule. I'm just gonna flick everything on and get that in ready. Now the milk frother is actually new it's an amazon jobby we have had an espresso one before um it broke a couple of years ago so we've had this machine for a while now no it can't have been a couple of years anyway it broke about a year ago we then got an amazon one that was i think 20 pound or something like that and that lasted for quite a long time and it just died so we've now got this one from amazon which was 30 pound and this is great because our previous ones the both the nespresso and the previous amazon one didn't do cold milk whereas this one does and it is game changing when we are in a heat wave the best Oat milk by far is the barista, um, the Oatly barista one. Let's give it a shake first. It is so creamy and unbelievable. I have tried many a different oat milk in my time and nothing compares to this one. I swear down, unreal. So, so good. So I'm just gonna pop this on now onto the cold setting. And then the syrup that I'm using, because we will do a caramel one, you'll be able to hear the milk in the background, is the Sweet Freedom Caramel Syrup. Let's see if it's going to focus on it or not. There we go, finally focus. So the Sweet Freedom Caramel um, Syrup. It is very, very good. It doesn't taste fake. Um, a lot of people love the, is it the Moonin ones? I think they're called. Um, I find that that tastes really fake, whereas this doesn't. It tastes just very, very good. And, oops, it's only 13 calories per teaspoon, so not too bad. And I probably put about one and a half teaspoons in. Let me just pop that back in the cupboard. Oh, my milk done. It's really quick as well. So I'm gonna just pour the milk in. Just to about there. And then put the coffee in. And then get the other one, next one going. Okay, finishing it off with a stir. Really making sure you stir right to the bottom so you get that caramel syrup stirred in. When it is a cold drink, it is difficult to get the caramel syrup stirred in. So do make sure you give it a good old stir and then finishing with an ice cube oh these are all stuck together there we go and that is the perfect iced caramel oat milk latte so that one will be jamie's and i'm going to do mine now and then we will enjoy by the way, these two Nature Valley boxes and my water bottle was my tripod just then. I really need to stop doing that because this is an expensive camera. Must stop, must remember to bring tripod everywhere with me. I will also leave the milk frother linked down below just in case you guys are in search of a new one because 
I can highly recommend it and it was only 30 quid so I will leave it linked down below in the description box if you fancy picking one up. That is without a doubt the best caramel latte hands down ever just saying. This little one curled up between her daddy's legs she's having a lovely little sneeze. It's about half past six now guys and cool down a little bit so we're taking Betty Boo out for her evening stroll bless her it was just too hot during the day to do it so it's cooled down it's got a nice breeze now as well so um, I think she's oh she just overtook me but she's having a lovely little run around bless her and the view right now I've showed it to you before but I'm just gonna have to show it to you again because it's so unbelievably beautiful so I'm gonna spin you around and show you what we're looking at Come on, Bebo. <laughs> and this is our view. <sighs> it's just heavenly. Okay, fresh salad with leaves from the garden. Oh food cover there to keep that protected from the flies and we're gonna get the bits on the barbecue so we've got some bread on the barbecue here now this is what we learnt from the wedding um, a couple of weeks ago so Ben who is the groom owns a bakery Gwyn's absolutely amazing by the way literally best bakery on the planet this is a country sourdough and what they did at the wedding is they drizzled it on both sides with olive oil and then stuck it on the barbecue until you've got like the char grill lines in and my god guys game absolutely game changing yeah it's unbelievable so we are gonna thoroughly enjoy that okay let's tuck in Good morning everyone, we are just about to head out to breakfast. I've actually been up for quite a while because I've gone out and watered all the plants so they've got plenty of water for the hot, hot day ahead. It feels very still out there today so there's not an awful lot of breeze so it is going to be a really, really warm one. I'm wearing my new dress from um, Pink City Prince, absolutely loving this dress and perfect for this weather definitely roof down weather as well so you can see my video there uploading in the background for this evening but let's head out now and enjoy some breakfast by the river so we've got here a little bit early and we're just having a little wander around the surrounding countryside and i can tell you it's pretty damn beautiful we are loving like just exploring and finding little pockets of beauty within kind of the surrounding area that we live in and this is definitely one of them beautiful wildflower meadow here absolutely stunning and this is the view that we are after just beautiful english countryside and you've got the river down there i think you could just about see it in shot there and the place that we're going to eat is just on the river so beautiful really beautiful and these are our breakfast views. You can go on little river boat rides down here. How sweet is that? Just going for another little walk after our breakfast. The horses in the field just loving life, grazing away. And on a day like this, I mean, why on earth not? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, that's a sign of love, a bit of a, what is it, wheat? <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> so guys, I nearly dropped my uh, Dior bag in the river. <laughs> I knocked it, it was on the side of the table and I knocked it and it, yeah, very nearly went. It didn't, so we're all good, but note to self. <laughs> must be more careful, yeah, because Jamie would totally have been getting in after that bad boy. No way would I let that go. We've just got back from the riverside guys. We actually popped in to a pub on the way home and I had an ice cold glass of Diet Coke, which was so unbelievably lovely in this heat. But I'm actually gonna finish the video here because I've just started importing the footage from or for this vlog and I have got so much of it. So I think that is definitely enough 
for the video otherwise it'll end up being two hours long so i hope you have enjoyed the video and i will catch you all in the next one if you're not subscribed do hit that subscribe button and of course give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next one bye